Uh, the money management strategies. Let's go through how you write out a money management strategy. And uh, I think I've done this once before. Okay, so this illustration will help you understand what we're trying to do. Um, what we're doing is we're setting up a, a simple if-then-else. What language was that? That was Fortran, wasn't it? My dad was... Uh, I mean, the guy's brilliant. Uh, wrote, actually wrote some books on C++ and Fortran back in the day before anybody knew what that stuff was. Um, it's crazy. I mean, the stuff that this guy knew and understood about computer programming in 1976 uh, would just blow away 90% uh, of people who even knew there was such a thing. So he convinced me that I needed to take computer programming in high school is when the IBM PC was really kind of first coming out and they were basically giving them to schools to try to get them in the hands of people, which was brilliant. Um, Sally says, I used to use Fortran and punch cards. Yeah, my dad used to bring home entire, uh, like, like a shoebox, right, full of these punch cards. And uh, they'd have to go in and debug them. He was running them on the old, well, I say old, the Cray computer which at the time where we lived in Los Alamos, my dad worked at Los Alamos National Laboratory, uh, which is the home of the nuclear uh, age, and, uh, and we're proud of it. Uh, he, he used to work on the Cray computer when it was the most powerful computer in the entire world with punch cards, right? So he can use Fortran. And so he said, you need to take computer programming. So I took a class in like basic programming, which was you could get the computer to print out on a dot matrix uh, printer a smiley face using X's and O's. That's about the extent of my computer programming ability. Um, so, so Fortran was if then else, right? If this happens, then do this, else or otherwise do that. And that's all we're doing here. We're just going to set up a uh, strategy that says, look, uh, if we go in and we buy 10 contracts, right, so step number one is going to be that we buy 10 contracts or 20 contracts or five contracts, whatever it is, we're going to buy 20 contracts at around $2. And our money management strategy, our MMS, right, is going to be three steps. Step number one, right, or in this case, it would be number two because we already bought the position. So step number two would be that we uh, automatically, we want to put in a stop, right, 30 cents below our entry price. Okay, so this is a 30 cent stop. Now, that was in the criteria, wasn't it? And we want to put in a sell order. Right? So at the same time, right, it's going to be step number three, but it's at the same time, we want to put in an order to sell the position, half the position, at $2 worth of profit. Right? So this is a uh, $2 profit target. Right? Uh, and when step number three happens, we would like to have step number four over here, okay, uh, execute a move to break even, okay? So step number four is going to be for our stop to move to break even. That is step number four. And we would like all of that to happen with the click of the computer. Yep, getting a nice little rally here. Market's getting just ripping higher here. Uh, Tesla. Man, if only we own some call options. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at Tesla, Netflix, Boeing. Love that. Look at that. Beautiful move on Boeing. Man, did we smoke the entry on that again? 
Sometimes I impress even myself. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm just that awesome. Yep, right out of the 10, Julie says. So bouncing right off of support, just as we expected. Now under the 10, we'll see if we can push higher through the 10. Eh. Okay, back to our money management strategy. So that is the plan. That's the plan. And so how do you write that out in if, then, else, right? So uh, if we buy 20 contracts, uh, then sell it at, you know, a dollar seventy uh, or 30 cents away. And then sell it at uh, $2 profit, right? And it's going to be an OCO. We want that to be an OCO. Uh, so the way that we do that any signal guys is we'll go in uh, under trade so let me grab my red magic spotlight here right there where it says trade we're going to click on trade and those of you that have michael's uh evolver product this is this is exactly how you do it Evolver, Michael does a great job of showing you all this stuff. And uh, we go down, we just start looking here, and oh, look at that right there, money management planner. All right, very good. Let's 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 build ourselves a new money management planner, shall we? So we're going to add a new exit strategy, right? So there's two things here: stop strategies and exit strategies. Uh, a new exit strategy. And if we're going to add, then what we're going to click on is this button right here. It's a plus symbol, right, for add. So if you want to add something new, you click on the add right there. Boom. All right. Now we're going to name it something, uh, you know, you can call it the uh, value menu uh, 20. If you're using 20 contracts, 10 contracts. Incidentally, guys, it operates by default on a, a ratio, so it really doesn't matter if you set it up for 20 contracts or 10 contracts, uh, as long as it's a number that's divisible by two. I have not used the word divisible since junior high. Divisible by two, right? So uh, you can call it the value menu 20, the lab value menu 20, whatever, whatever you want to call it. You just name it. You know, I don't care if you name it Pete. All right, name it whatever you freaking want. Uh, then we're going to come in and start building this out. So first thing we're going to click on uh, here is the quantity. How many contracts are we going to be dealing with, right? 20, 20 contracts, right? So there you go. Uh, profit is in ticks. So the smallest profit you can take on an option contract is one penny. Therefore, each one of these ticks would be what, right? E each tick would be a penny. So we're going to take profit at 200 pennies. That, that would be $2 for those of you following along. And we're going to start out with a stop at 30 cents, right? There you go. Now we got that taken care of. But now i got to put in my stop strategy. Oh, crap. I don't have a stop strategy built yet. Where might I go to build out a stop strategy? Where would I go to add a new stop strategy. I know, I know, it's probably down here where the red bouncing spotlight is. All right, so we're going to go down here to the stop strategies. We're going to click on that. We're going to click on add because we're adding a new stop strategy, right? So this is going to be uh, lab uh, value menu uh, 5 we'll just call it lab value menu stop. All right, there you go. So you name it whatever you want. Like I said, I don't care if you name it Pete. All right, and uh, we're going to click up here, and uh, we've got uh, several different um, ways that we can do this. So we want this one to be a stop that, is it a trailing stop, is it a fixed stop, or is it a break-even stop? So in other words, the stop strategy that we're going to use is what? When we get to a, a $2 profit, we're going to take half the position off the table, and we're going to move our stop to break even. 
right? Break even. So we click on break even. And uh, what's going to trigger that is that we're going to move that up based on getting out of our other position at a $2 profit. So $2 of profit is going to move our position. Okay, everybody got that? Okay, so there you go. We now have a lab break even uh, there, and you can see we've got all kinds of value menu break evens, and they're all written the same. It's the same thing. Um, so now let's go back to our exit strategies. So now, now here's the deal. I've got a uh, 20 contract position, going to take $2 of profit. Oh, wait, that would take me out of all 20. Right, so this needs to be 10, okay, half the position. So half the position, I'll get out at $2 a profit and protect it the whole time with a 30 cent stop, okay? Now, there, there's no need for a stop strategy there, is there? That position will just go away. The money will be put in the bank on 10 contracts when I pick up $2 a profit or I sustain 30 cents worth of loss. Well, what about the other 10 contracts? I need I need something else in here. What am I going to do? What am I going to click on to add another level to this trade? Anybody want to take a guess? Just stab in the dark there, shot in the dark. Uh, that is correct. I will click add a level. Right? And this is going to also be 10 contracts, half my position. My profit on this one is going to be zero. Right? There's no profit target. I'm going to close this one out manually on expiration Friday, near expiration. But I want to make sure that in the interim, it is protected with a 30 cent stop. This is the one that will get my new stop strategy. So when I click over here on stop strategy, hit my drop down list, and I go down and I, I'm just looking, I'm like, oh, I just did one. I know I did one. I called it the lab something or other. Um, oh, oh, there it is, lab value menu stop. Okay. So I now have a Fortran-like language written in here that says, if I apply this value menu strategy to a position, this is what I would like to have happen. I would like you to take half the position off the table when I reach a 200 penny, $2 profit. And while we're on our way there, I would like you to protect that position with a 30 cent stop below my entry price. The other half of the position, I would like you to also protect with a 30 cent stop. It will have no profit target but I would like to use the lab value menu stop to move my stop from 30 cents to break even the cost of the trade as soon as I get to a $2 profit. Once I've done all of that, I now have a money management strategy uh, written for that particular trade, trade setup. 